Let's talk about Will Duffy. When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. Off the of hey everybody, Jerry miles. Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. So the purpose of this video might be a little controversial as far as the online globe supporting community goes. Now to start off, I want to be clear that I truly think the final experiment should be considered a net positive in the ongoing fight against pseudoscience. I think the reality of the observations made will reverberate for a long time and is truly a death blow to the delusional movement that is flat earth. The only real question is how will globe proponents like myself respond to the continued flailings of the globe deniers as they manufacture new schemes to keep their grift alive. But for me, the battle against pseudoscience and bad thinking doesn't stop at globe denial. And for that reason, I say, it's time to kick Will Duffy to the curb. Yes, Will Duffy created, arranged, and bankrolled for many the entire final experiment, the goal being to put a stake through the heart of the flat earth worldview. But ultimately, Duffy is a young earth creationist and his name should never be uttered in the same sentence as the word science, unless the prefix pseudo immediately precedes it. For those who are unaware, Duffy is a pastor at Agape Kingdom Fellowship in Colorado, where they have their anti-science statement of faith on the front page of the website. I'm not going to read this aloud because, ugh. So here is a naive, unhuman voice reading it for me. Quickly. There is one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. There is one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory. With his saints he will judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. There is one Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. Of the triune God, with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped. He has spoken through the prophets and through the scriptures. God established the body of Christ into which the Holy Spirit baptizes every new believer. God offers salvation by grace through faith alone in the resurrected Christ. The Bible records the true history of man, including that God created us in his image and likeness. And as with us, he made the heavens and the earth and everything in them in six literal days, making us male and female from the beginning of the creation and instituted marriage between a man and a woman. Only eight people survived a global flood, and through great wonders, God delivered Israel from Egypt. The prophets, Christ, and the apostles performed many supernatural miracles. The scriptures of the Old and New Testaments in their original state are the inspired word of God. God legislated morality out of love for his creation, including the prohibition of intentionally killing the innocent. Men who reject God will suffer eternal damnation. Christ commands his followers to rebuke and to judge with righteous judgment and to forgive those who repent. One day, God will resurrect the dead, punish the unbelievers, and reward those whom he has justified with the life of the world to come. Amen. So, we have the earth being created in six literal days. Virgin birth, marriage only between a man and a woman. People like me will suffer eternal damnation and are righteously judged by people like him. There will be a resurrection of the dead and his God will reward a group of chosen people. Yeah. No thanks. Look, I know the guy smiles a lot and is probably friendly to everyone in person, but behind the smile is someone who is not content to let his God pass judgment on the people of the world when they die, but is actively trying to impose 
his personal interpretation of his God's will on everyone today. And I can't get behind any of that. And yeah, I know that this is kind of political and a lot of you get your panties in a bunch over that, but this anti-choice, anti-marriage equality, anti-evolution, chosen people believing, and we know nothing bad ever comes from singling out a chosen people, young earth creationist is no better than a globe denier in my mind. In fact, I would venture that his conflict with flat earthers comes down to the fact that a lot of flat earthers are young earth creationists, and he doesn't like the fact that they give young earthers a bad name. It's hard enough trying to convince people that the planet is only 6,000 years old, evolution doesn't exist, and the entire 8.2 billion people on this planet came from the inbreeding of eight family members 4,500 years ago. These people have to make them look silly by claiming the earth is also flat? Come on, can't you see that he's busy arguing convoluted limitations to his all-powerful God to explain why he made a fucked up world that will result in 95% of the population suffering eternal damnation. Don't distract people with wild speculation. Now, some of the globe reality community might take umbrage that I am going at someone who many of them would like to consider an ally. I'm okay with that. The final experiment is over. Time for Will Duffy to kick rocks. That's my job, that's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.